Carrie Vance here in Miami. Sunny, chilly. It's perfect out there. Miami with Justin Caruso. <laughs> How you doing? Thank you for having me. So you got, you're welcome. You got the memo, long sleeve shirt. For I the... know, right? It's a little windy out. Gotta stay warm. And when did you get into Miami? Uh, we got in last night. We just got in, just getting settled right now and ready to get going. What's the exciting plans for you this week? Uh, I'm playing the Robin Schultz pool party today, which will be awesome. And then uh, playing Live with Tiesto tomorrow and doing Story with Chainsmokers Sunday. So kind of all over the place. But so you're it's quite great. the busy man. I know, right? It's exciting. Well, that's good. Exciting's always good. Yep. And music-wise, what are you working on right now? Um, I got my next single coming out next week. It's actually going to be my first release on my own label. It's called 922, which I'm really looking forward to. So... That'll be coming out next week, and then I got my next single with uh, Big Beat Records coming out in about a month, and got a huge collab, which I'm going to be announcing soon with a top five DJ. So it's going to so, be some good stuff. Let's go back to the beginning for you. When did you decide yeah. you wanted to be a DJ? Uh, I decided in high school. Uh, just like I loved making like mashups and just like mixing and playing like friends' birthday parties, and I just had so much fun with it, like making people happy, playing music I wanted to hear and what they wanted to hear. And from there, it kind of just became like a real thing. And I was like, all right, I want to make my own music now. And I want to take it from there, do remixes. And then it just kind of took off. So. And who were some of your inspirations growing up? Like Swedish House Mafia, Porter Robinson, Avicii, all those like top DJs at the time that like, they were like the kings of EDM. Like those were all the guys I was looking up to. You mentioned you have a collaboration coming up with a top five DJ. Can't, can't mention yeah. it. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. So aside from that top five DJ, if you could do a collaboration with anybody, who would it be? Oh man, I would probably say Porter Robinson. He has such a unique style and I feel like he's just like, he's so limited to who he works with. So like, it would be like such an honor and like so special to work with him. And just like the way he like produces his music and the sounds he uses, like I would love to just sit in the studio and like watch him work. Like that would be amazing to see. Now, your song's coming out on your own label. Yes. Is there a special name to the label? Uh, it's called 922, which is my birthday. Ah, okay. So that, yeah. That, that saves me the what's 922 yeah. stand for. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I eventually want to grow it into a bigger label, like sign some younger kids under it and build it into like a whole thing. So it's going to be great. Sounds like there's some great marketing and contesting that can run right around 922. Yeah, yeah definitely. We have some big plans for it. It's going to be fun. And when you decided to make music a career, yeah. How'd your parents feel about that? They've always been supportive of it. They didn't really like understand it at first. Like I was like younger in high school, like literally just playing like parties and bar mitzvahs. And um, once it kind of turned into like playing clubs and touring and like having my own music out. And once I like I'm with CAA for touring, so once they kind of saw everything become like real and like playing with bigger artists and doing real things, they like have been more understanding of it. Like I'm still in school right now, so I have to do a little bit of both to make them happy. But and where do you go to school? I'm at USC. A Trojan. Yep. Hey, yep. How are they going to be this year in football? I don't know. We'll see. I never know with them. It's very overrated most the of the time. Basketball scenario was a little crazy. I know. Basketball right. in general this year is crazy. It's fun to watch, though. How much longer do you have to go in school? Um, I, I have to do an extra year after this, but we'll see how much longer it lasts. I might have to go a little early. What are you studying? <laughs> I'm doing music business. Well, that's Perfect. good. That should yeah. help you when you have yeah. to negotiate contracts. Yeah, no, it's been great. It's great learning that side of the business because people to get taken advantage of so easily. So, Now, what's the craziest thing that's happened to you so far in your career DJing-wise? DJing-wise, I, I just did a tour with Tiesto like, back in October. That was probably like one of the craziest things for me. Like I never thought I'd be traveling with him and touring with him. So just like sharing the stage with him, spending time with him, like driving across the country together, like that was incredible. I really never thought I'd be there, so. So having a lot of success the past couple of years, I'm sure you've watched people grow up in this business. You've grown up in this business. What's a piece of advice you would give to an up and coming DJ or producer? I would say the biggest piece of advice is make something different. Don't follow what the other artists are doing. Don't try and like copy someone else's sound. Do your own sound, do what you think is right. Maybe it won't be accepted at first, but in the long run, it's so important to have your own unique sound and not just follow the wave because music, especially dance music, is changing so rapidly. Like every couple months, there's a new sound. So if you're just kind of following the trait, you're just gonna be left behind and never be able to establish yourself. So that would be my biggest advice. Just do your own sound, follow your own dream, and don't listen to other people. Just Over the next couple of days, you're going to be doing a lot of interviews. People are going to be asking you a lot of questions. Yeah. How do you get your start? What's your song? Yeah. All that kind of good stuff. 
But what we want to do right now is something called Carrie's Quickies. All right. We want to give your fans a chance to get to know who Justin Caruso really is. Cool. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Who's your celebrity crush? Jennifer Aniston. Firm or plush? Firm. What's a hidden talent of yours? Um, I'm really good at video games. I play a lot of video games. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. It's taking over the world. <laughs> you have a hobby? Uh, yeah, I love playing basketball. Basketball and tennis. Those are my big hobbies. Which are you better at? Uh, probably right now, tennis. There's a lot of people telling me they like playing tennis. It's great. So. I love it. What's an item that you carry on you that your fans would be surprised to know you have? Um, I don't know. I carry a cross with me. I'm a little religious, so I always have that with me for good luck. Meat or veggies? Meat, 100%. Pool or ocean? Ooh. Uh, ocean, because then you have the beach. I was going to say, you're a Southern California guy. <laughs> yeah, you got to right? be the ocean. you got to have it. Soft or hard? Depends what we're talking about. Well, what, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, no, I guess I'll go hard. Well, what is it? What's hard? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying what feels right right All now. All right, music. <laughs> All right, no, no, wait. What's the last song you sang in the shower? Ooh. Uh, Leon Bridges' new song, Bad Bad News. It's really good. Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Summer, 100%. All right, well, best. Justin, thank you so much for spending some time yeah. with us today. Thank you for having me. We wish you great, great success. Thank you. Thank you.